How's it going guys? Welcome back to Fear and Hunger. You can see in the top there we're on version 1.03 so there was a patch relatively recently that fixed up a few things. I think mostly they were just like squashing bugs and stuff but apparently there are a few small things where some of those coin tosses have been made slightly easier. Some of them removed entirely. Some of the uh, more totally unfair ones are totally gone and other things have just been kind of altered slightly. I'm not going to run through the whole patch list, but uh, pretty much they just tried to make things a, a nudge, a nudge and a hint easier. So nothing, no crazy huge differences, but it, it might end up being noticeable for people who are more familiar with the game. Probably not for me. I feel like Omen has a little bit more life left in him. I, there's a few more paths and stuff that I haven't quite explored, ways that I could go about not having him die immediately. Uh, I've been, I, I've had a few things explained to me now that I'm going to be much more familiar with. Sucks that all of them just got absolutely hammered with status effects. One next to Omen, Omen de Barb's name there, he's got the bleeding hand, which is an inf infection. Uh, the girl is bleeding and has an infection in her foot. And then the other remaining one, which is like, what is that? It's a weird spiky looking C or something like that. Apparently that one is worms, which I think I actually have. I think I actually have the tonic or whatever it's needed to get rid of the worms. So I should be able to get myself out of that one pretty, pretty immediately here. So I've never, I've never really had to end up managing these status effects before because I've been unlucky and have never received the books that explain how any of them work. So a little bit of a concession there. I still don't want major spoilers, but at least now I have a, a hint of an idea of what I can do. Maybe I can stay alive a little longer with some of this. You have two infections? Oh, thank goodness. It cures both of them at once with one, one herb. That's very lucky. And here's my worm juice. So I should be able to clear that. Oh, good. I'm still poisoned, though, I think. Shit, so just one then the other, right? Great, great stuff overall. No bandages for that bleeding or anything like that, so kind of kind of hopeful that we find something to help out with that, but I I'm not going to I'm not going to bank on it cuz uh that's just not how this game works. I don't think you really bank on anything ever. You can bank on getting killed. You can bank on things hammering you into oblivion, crushing you into a pulp and and spitting you out. That's pretty well a guarantee at this point. So that's that's something. I know the well is safe. So we're going to hop down here and see what we got this time. I I'm starting to see, well e even if I were to start the game over fresh, I I'm starting to see how you can familiarize yourself with things enough that you can really start speeding your way through the game, which is going to be going to be handy when I want to play around with like other characters and stuff, assuming I ever even reach the end with this guy. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that at some point I can do that. Uh, but then when I come back to things with the other characters and kind of know the ropes a little bit, then I can I can come back for that. One weird thing I did want to check on, actually, um, it says here that you're level two. But I saw a comment that someone made, and I may have misinterpreted it, but it made it sound like there is no experience in this game. So you start as level two, for whatever reason. Oh, it's his body, not his, not his hunger that's low. Uh, but for whatever reason, you start at two, but you never actually work to raise that. So I have no idea what's going on there. And here it's even talking about working your way up and, and gain their affinity and things like that. I, I guess that's all just about praying to the different shrines and things like that. That is less to do with actually physically leveling yourself up. Man, I wonder if I need to sacrifice the girl. That by itself probably isn't enough to gain their their affinity. I feel like I've tried... I don't know if I've ever interacted with that pedestal after only just very simply uh, sacrificing her. You know, not having like three or four different ways of trying to curry some favor there. I may have only ever just done done the one. Poems of Love and Torment. Oh, you know there's going to be all sorts of romantic shit in that book. It's going to be fun for all ages. I can pretty much guarantee that. Chained Heart by Ron Chambara. Just an outstanding name. I wish I had named my character Ron Chambara. Chambara is a great last name to say. Silent grace and life hid in your eye. In eyes I used to dream all night. 
Wasted tears weigh in my back from our love of lies. Lies, I used to stay wake all night. Chains in my heart gaining weight before your eyes. Too heavy for me to bear. Can't you see me suffer? So hard to withstand even a sight of your eyes. Chains in my heart, so heavy I can't defy. You ponder these lines in your head. And... Did you learn anything? Because <laughs> I don't have time to decipher this. I'm busy trying to make sure we don't starve. You can read all the poetry you want, but you better get something useful out of it. Oh, right. This is the guy. He, he just asks for, like, a sacrifice. <sighs> Rip a hand off. We got us. We gotta see what happens. We gotta see what happens if you offer the girl. I feel terrible for doing that, but like that's a, a branch of this we haven't explored yet. It's the same it's the same as jumping down to that outhouse and dying there, right? Like you gotta learn by trying. So you give the girl to human hydra as an offering. I don't know if you can still call it human. Yes, virgin girl meat. The girl struggles a little, but you push her into an opening between heads and tentacles. See, when there's tentacles coming out of there, you, I don't know if you still call that shit human. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Oh, I feel terrible about that. I didn't think I was going to have to witness it. Jeez, way to make it this that much worse. Shit, she's better than we imagined. Oh. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! I've only had a little glass to salute. Oh, come on, man! More humans? I'm not gonna bring you more? What good did that do? Fine, if I was gonna be that shitty to the girl, I'll rip a hand off as well. You grab any hands and rip it off with brute strength. That's impressive. That's pretty amazing. That's not... Wait, did I rip one of its hands off? Heads? Did it say heads or hands? I thought I was going to rip off my own hand and give it to this thing. Oh, I'm for sure going to die now, aren't I? Uh, oh, and I'm afraid of it. Damn it. All right, well, let's try and just talk. Oh, there's all the individual heads there. I have to try and hold eight separate conversations at once. That's never going to happen. You try talking to human Hydra. Why should I spare you? All we have to do is really walk out of the room. This thing can't really chase us down. It seems quite helpless. You are pathetic. Yeah, let's insult it. That's what I said to your mama afterwards. <laughs> this thing's throwing out your mama jokes. Why is that a thing? <laughs> Why? Oh, if you don't stop, we're going to wreck you up badly. What is up with this thing? Why is it a shit-talking, like, seven-year-old on Xbox Live or something? That is not at all what I expected from this battle. <laughs> Why should I spare you? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm gonna wreck you up so bad! <laughs> so bad! <laughs> Seriously, man! <laughs> With this, I'm not getting hurt or anything. Oh, am I, like, dying from poison, though? That might be happening. I, I probably can't actually prepare to die. You're the one who's gonna die here, fucker! <laughs> Great insult. You really thought that one through. I am I'm totally dying. I don't know if this thing's attacking me or if it's just poison. Oi, oi, you gotta fucking stop. Can't you see us suffering? Oh, suffering, are you? Perhaps I can aid you in some way. Now I'm stuck in the same same uh, dialogue loop here. And I'm dying, so I think I'm gonna run. That's gonna be my my main strategy here. So peace out! It was very easy to escape. What did I do to it? Did I make it feel so bad about itself? The remains of human hydra remain here. It's a weird, redundant way of saying it. Well, now I feel real bad for handing over the girl. I I really don't think I have an antidote or anything, so I'm a little I'm quite concerned. Purifying talisman, that's not that's not good enough. That's not what is needed. Blueberries are, keep you healthy. Just makes you not hungry. It doesn't actually get rid of poison. That's unfortunate. Because that would really get me out of a bind here right now. Because I am not going to live long without something that cures poison. Maybe we could just read a bunch of books while we're at it. The Book of Fears I already have. I'm pretty sure that's how I was aware that my guy had phobia of that monster, as if there's anyone on the planet who isn't going to be scared of that, you know? 
that shit's terrifying. I will not believe anyone who claims otherwise. Was I only dying in battle, though? Maybe. I have two of that one. Two books of fears. Okay, good. It does, it does have a count of books. So it's at least obvious what I have duplicates of. I can, I can curate my collection a little more easily that way. Recipes of the 15th century. Gotta be some good shit to learn here. The book is about various recipes from the famous chef Anders of the Royal Kitchen of Rondon. Anders of Rondon. Ander Rondon. Rondon Ander. Wasn't as hard as I thought it would be to say. Even if your book portrays itself as a recipe book, it seems to tell more about the notorious chef Anders himself. It's more of a biography book, greatly over-exaggerating his life triumphs and challenges as the royal chef. There seems to be a nice love story twist, too, with the princess of the court. What a liar. Totally full of it. Between all this romance and betrayal, you find recipes for Chef Anders' famous meat pie and vegetable pie. Okay, dope. What, is it, what does it take to, to make these? Can I use rotten meat? Because that would make things so much easier. Ooh, I can make one of the vegetable pies. I don't have, I don't have any dried meat. Damn. I can make a few things, though. There's a few varieties and versions of this. Nice. Okay, well, let's... First, we'll make one mushroom stew. We'll make one mix-and-match stew. That sounds fun, delightful, good for dinner parties. Well, we'll whip together one other vegetable pie. You're not going to go hungry at all, Mr. Barbarian. You're going to be so enthused about the, the wonderful, wonderful meals you're going to be served down here. Mahaver... I hardly know her. <laughs> There's definitely a way to move that bookshelf. I should reinvestigate that because I was kind of just spam clicking through through everything there and didn't really get a close look. <sighs> it would be so dope to get another book of enlightenment at some point. None of the books are real. Mm -hmm. I wonder how the hell you're supposed to move that. Judging from the contents of this table, this room is the office of the captain of these dungeons. You find Captain's Diary 1 and Small Key falls from inside the diary hmm. okay but we have some more books to read definitely gonna have to talk to that dude did not expect there to be a captain of these horror filled dungeons that's unexpected and kind of strange captain's diary today I had a very sexy dream about what was that thing called human hydra <laughs> captain Rudimer on the 16th of January ah, we're off by like a week 1590 Torator! That's the dude. The dude that we always end up helping because I don't want him to get all Mr. like <laughs> weird noises guy. Weird guy just, just gross all around. <laughs> Once again went too far with his wicked methods. The prisoner was but a child, but already he had gone through so much torture that he shit himself more than he bled. That's gross. I wouldn't expect people to have more shit in them than blood, but it's a lot of torture. God, this game just makes you think and say the worst things. I must say, I'm afraid of torture to a certain degree. Sometimes I think I would do this world a justice if I just offed him with my blade. Very few know, but torture, is that even how it was spelt before? He used to be a famed holy knight of Rondon back in the day. He was able to achieve great fame at a very young age, but during our holy campaign against eastern territories, he was captured. Everyone presumed him dead. He died as a war hero. He should have died as a war hero. But five years later, when we occupied the eastern capital, Jatea, we also found what was left of Chorter. He was but a shadow of his former self, a disfigured hunchback man with barely any resemblance to the great hero so many adored. I'm sure during those five years, he went through every method of torture he now puts to use himself. I hate that you get hungry while reading. Just to honor the memory of Chorator the White, I let this monster live today. Although I see great contradiction in my words here. Very curious. Maybe I should do that dude a favor and kill him next time I see him. Do the captain a favor, that is. Let's chow down on a ve veggie pie. Probably is going to boost me all the way full. Not quite. It was a lot. I thought maybe it would. thought maybe that would be overkill. And I would be kind of half wasting the food by doing that. Mahaver. Hmm. Did we hear about... Well, that's spelt wrong all of a sudden. But did we hear about this character at some point? In the game, this sounds familiar. The sight of Mahaver. Isn't that a weird... There's a specific language gap thing where B's and V's are very similar. I think that's all that's happening there. But I can't remember which languages like interchange them or whatever. 
You've seen them too, haven't you? In your dreams, you wander for one lifetime for, with silhouette of this city and horizon. You've seen the twin towers that rise next to a black night sky, those macabre obelisks telling tales of some older, more cruel age. You have seen the grand gate with its maddening murals and spirals, patterns beyond understanding. It's not like the sound of wind howling between those hollow streets wasn't enough. You also hear the sound of local residents, even while all comprehension, comprehension would dictate that this place is long abandoned. You still hear them. You are not alone in this vile part of the world. That was just a creepy book. Oh, it's not over. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think I learned a lot. In your dreams, you've seen it, haven't you? The city of Mahavar, the city of gods. Did you know what exists here? Here? Like in the dungeon here? Someone has written notes here on an empty scroll. Oh, Lord, teach hurting. Great, great sentence structure. Really got your point across. The Dark Priest. This guy looks like our Jack White buddy or whatever from the from the character selections. Oh shit, but that's the thing of the game, right? You can get other people to join your team. This might be him. I might be recruiting him. Uh, what can I do for you? Huh? You are with sane minds still? Please, leave me. I'm not here to make acquaintances, and I fail to see what worth chatting would with you would bring. Jesus. Uh, what are you doing here? What does it look like? I can see how a brute like yourself wouldn't understand the meaning of libraries. Come on, man. Don't shrug it off like that. Luckily, you don't permanently close yourself off from having, like, further steps of these conversations. The Dark Priest, priest seems clearly frustrated by you. My name is Enki, a priest of destruction. Did that feed your curiosity? Listen, I am through with this conversation. It brings no benefit to either of us. Leave. The Dark Priest doesn't seem to want your company at the moment. Might not be a good idea to bother him. Shit. I, uh, I wonder if the little girl was with me still. Oh, I found Haver again. I already Haver. I don't need a second copy. So many good puns to, to pull out of that. Well, one good one. The first one wasn't really good, was it? That was just kind of, uh, kind of stupid. Man, I, this might be the worst I've ever let my mind get. Uh, smoke some opium? Yes. That'll really put the mind at ease. Oh shit, I didn't mean to talk to him. <laughs> I'm just trying to click past things. Uh, you just keep on talking to me in hopes of gaining even a smallest advantage in this darkness, do you? Dark priests are generally frowned upon in the suppressed modern societies, but then we suddenly become a valuable asset when you're facing eternal darkness. Well, your survival is none of my concern. In fact, you would be most likely to be valuable to me after the horrors of these dungeons have had their way with you. I'm through with you. You have seemed to have angered him. Shit. That opium was great, though. That was some good shit. I'm talking to you one more time, dude. I'm gonna fight him. What? You dare attacking me? Maybe a, a little bit of a misstep there. Wow, he looks really tall. Also, his gloves and boots look weird. He looks like he's wearing dish cleaning gloves or something like that. Um, I, I only did this so that I could reopen up this little bit of dialogue that you so rudely closed off. You tried talking some sense into him. Wait, I didn't intend to insult you. It's too late for apologies. God damn it, I didn't think it was. I thought we could get through this just fine. Oh no, I have the hurting. Oh, shit! <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have been so, like, la la la, whatever. He, g he gave me a, a wee bit of hurting. That was never... What bad could that do? Shit. Well, that didn't go well whatsoever. Wow, why did that guy get alerted so easily that time? I don't really know what I did differently. Uh, well, I, I do want to try and go back to that without sacrificing the girl because interacting with the Hydra thing seemed... Uh, wholly unnecessary. So I'm gonna skip past that, keep the girl on my team, and see if that earns me some sort of like sympathy points. Oh, come on, dude. All these status effects. God damn it. Can't wait to talk you to death. But then I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that gives me some form of leverage or something. Still stuck with the poison after using the, the juice. I was hoping that wouldn't happen 100% of the time. Mock up book. Oh, right, I always forget that that's all that that ever says. Ooh, last time, either these... 
uh, herbs like hadn't randomly spawned or I totally overlooked them. So I've got to make sure to remain thorough in, in my searches for things like that. It's easy to remember or easy to forget, honestly. No luck again. I've, I, and still, I'm pretty sure it was on this save file so, so long ago, though, that I had found... Oh, I'm not going to have my recipes anymore. At least we got to do that the once. Just got to eat some delicious pie the one time. But I think it was on this save file that at the very beginning of the dungeon, there was that place that I could, like, insert a sword. But I guess there's, there's no reason to come into this room, is there? Not until I have... The, not until the gods like me a little better, until I'm a little more popular. Where was I going to that? Yeah, the sword in the in the opening thing. I still want to find out what that's all about. I never really got to test that test that and see what you get from it. Could be could be cool, but maybe it's not worth going all the way back for. I'm not sure if I've ever had Alchemelia. Hmm. Finding a vial in there was not something I fully expected. Oh, is it over this way where you find the torturer dude? I wonder if you've like read about him and then and then came back that way and interacted with him if that would affect the outcome of that whatsoever if you would have an additional line of dialogue and oh shit I knew that was there I remembered too late but I uh, but then I, I I don't know if the game works that way oh, I never interacted with the flags before if you could open up some dialogue that would be really cool very helpful for me overall too to to maybe wind down that interaction without people having to get totally messed up. These are all new books. Also, the pinecone pig or whatever that was. I think I have pine cones, Or if not now, I've definitely found them in other runs. I'm going to know so much alchemy. Man, we got a lot to read all of a sudden. Let's uh, let's fly through some of this. Obviously, I want to read about this. I want a pinecone pig. Wait, does it just mean like an arts and crafts? Like a pine cone that you put a little curly tail on. I thought it meant like it was going to be an enchantment to turn a pine cone into like a bomb or something. And that was just what they called it. I don't think it's going to be like anything like that. <laughs> there are instructions on how to build your own pine cone pig. The amulet of good luck and fortune. Okay, so it's not as good as I thought, not as ridiculous as I thought. The pine cone pig seems to originate from the north, from the little villages in the old guard. First, you need a narrow stick, break it into four equally long pieces, align them to each other to make sure they are the right size. Take a well-kept pine cone? <laughs> I'll consult my batch of pine cones and see which one seems to be in the best shape. Push the sticks inside the opening on the pine cone. The stick should be able to carry the weight of the pine cone. How big do you think these pine cones are? So they should be placed on all four sides of the bottom of the pine cone. The pine cone pig is ready. Enjoy. Well, that's dumb as hell. Is that seriously all that it is? Oh, right, I forgot you just, like, auto-learn the recipes. Pinecone pig. Damn it. I can't even make it. <laughs> oh, I can make uh, vials, though, so that's really good. Mm, didn't get a chance. I the, All the Alchemelia stuff would have taught me all this, probably. A cloth hood? That's what I need. I need a cloth hood. Oh, to make cloth, maybe. It's like you, you're taking a step in the other direction there, disassembling something. All right. Alchemelia stuff. Effects of different uh, herbs and stuff. Oh, I've read this one before. And red has little effect on their own, but when used together with other herbs, it has a boosting effect. I don't know if just taking, like, the way that I could cure my infection by just taking a green herb by itself. I don't know if the red does anything by itself. Maybe it's only useful in potions. Cave moss, rare moss that glows in cav grows in caverns and other dark areas and moist areas. Uh, rich in protein. I... I've never found that. Maybe I'm not interacting with the right things that would allow me to find that. The second step, I've never read this. The effects of different colored alchemic substances are listed here. Red is a corrosive substance. Treat it with care. Black, growth hormone. Causes uncontrollable growth in living tissue. Treat with caution. Blue, healing properties for muscle tissues. Yellow, protein rich. And black and oil, highly flammable. Heightened senses, adrenaline boost, poisonous effects, antidote, antidote for poison. I need a blue and a purple. I have found zero purple anywhere, but now I at least kind of know what I what I need. Torn page. Man, 
I really... Oh, you can actually read this. There's a random diary on the floor. I curse the older gods. My wife has died because of their plague. My child has died because of their sins. Next will be me. And I will die because of this macabre hellhole they built. For a second, I read butthole. It's that too. It's a macabre butthole. Uh, so you always get the key and always get the diary. You gotta remember to s interact with that. Teach hurting. Hurting's the shit this dude used against me. Even though it sounds... Oh. Oh, shit. I, uh, didn't expect that to happen. I was almost gonna say, oh, right, this is just the fake shelf. I don't need to interact with that at all. Huh. That was lucky as hell. But, so this guy learned hurting. D learned hurting from just... So what... How... I gotta read that. Book of Forgotten Memories... Someone has written, Oh Lord, teach hurting. So if I have uh, like a piece of parchment and something to write with, like a quill, these aren't things that I have. But if I had that, that seems like that would be pretty legit, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked. I feel like I, I shouldn't be able to go. <laughs> there was something that looked, it looked weird to walk this far, far up and past that. Oh, I can't interact with that shelf now. All right, everyone, we don't want to have this conversation on an empty stomach so everyone can everyone can chow down. Shit, I always do that when you're, like, stuck facing something after, when you're just kind of clicking through waiting for little dialogues to go away. Don't want to have this conversation on an empty stomach. I just want to see if you're more interested in helping. If I have this little girl with me, man, who are you? He's clearly frustrated by you. He's inky. I've, did that feed your curiosity? One more attempt. I'm through with this conversation. It brings no benefit to either of us. <sighs> Shit. I wonder what it takes to get that guy on our side. All right. We got to move on because we got to go find a purple plant or something. The backyard. Trees and plants here lack the life nature usually has. We should probably set up a sprinkler or something. Try and, try and, try and brighten things up a little bit. I think I just noticed that these guys are the exact same as the, the thing that I talked too like they they have the bloody hands and the same hair hairdo and everything the uh the emo toby mcguire haircut <laughs> is what it seems to be can i interact with these is that worth it i can it, it can it can tell me that oh man those blood drops on the floor are me dying oh we're both bleeding shit son i'm poisoned and bleeding that sucks all right, simple dagger is laying on the ground. It reminds you of your childhood when your father used to teach you swordmanship with a similar dagger. It might be a suitable weapon for children, but for adults, it's too small. You could give it to the girl? Yeah, sure. Uh, you give it to the girl, and she seems surprised to get a gift such as a dagger. She <laughs> seems like she's not used to kindness of any kind, even receiving weapons. In any case, the girl seems excited about the dagger. Dope. So next time you can fight instead of just uh, guarding and hiding, I expect you to go in head first and kill all these things so that they don't kill me, okay? You're going to lead the charge from now on. Oh, what is that weird hook-nosed humpback thing rubbing its hands together on the left-hand side there? I don't like that. I don't want to have to deal with that at all. Oh, not, not, or vile. Vile is what I need. Oh, I wish you guys weren't both hurt. That sucks. Hallways collapsed. Mm, not the first time I've run into a collapsed hallway. Kind of go wide around that while I explore a little bit more. You're just starting to get hungry. You only think you're hungry. Is there a stick? Can I get a stick from this? Or was that another life that I had the pine cone thing? No, I can still do that on this, this guy. So I still want that at some point. Uh, mix of red and blue. Oh, so it would just be extra potent. That's good. That's probably something that I legitimately I'm going to want or need get out of the way you stupid tiny bush I'm just trying to go collect herbs and you're ever so slightly blocking my path oh hey naked rabbit lady I think she's just wearing a mask oh oh I see orgies of rabbit people uh I think I, I don't I don't think I want to join an orgy on an empty stomach, do I? I probably want to uh, top up a little bit first. Do you know what? For the first time ever in this whole time with this game, several hours, I'm going to end an episode in a spot where I haven't just died horrifically. I was gonna make that a, a silly running thing in this, but I don't 
I can't rely on that. And I, you know, I have limited time to record, so I don't really want all of these to end up being these like four hour long recording sessions or whatever, just because I can't find a save point or whatever, or can't die. Maybe I just live too well. But thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to come back. I'm either going to go deal with weird skulky hand rubber over there, the guy who desperately wants to be a part of the orgy, or I'm going to join the orgy. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.